You've returned. I'll handle this, Major. Can you give us a moment? Yeah. I'll just be over there, watching for other Jedi. So it was you jamming our communications. I've imagined this day, but somehow this feels much more ordinary. You should have sensed me the moment I set foot on Osus. I haven't used my power in years. My master thought it was becoming a crutch. I'm getting ahead of myself. When you left, I felt a terrible sense of emptiness. I couldn't reach you through the Force. You simply... vanished. I was adrift. Neither Jedi nor Sith. All of my former allies and confidants were lost in the chaos of war. Eventually, I met another light-leaning Sith. I was convinced the Force had guided me to her, but it was all a trap. The Force works in mysterious ways. Perhaps there was a reason? Yes. I have meditated on this often, and I believe it was the work of the Force. I spent a year running from Sith agents, hiding in the Outer Rim. It was there that I heard of Master Nostral and his fascination with the Sith. He advocated for balance in the Force, so I offered him my knowledge of the Sith in exchange for asylum. The Master agreed and brought me to Osus. He offered me a chance to redeem myself and one day, rejoin the Jedi Order. Is that what you really want? To be a Jedi? It seemed like the natural choice after the Sith rejected me. But now that you're here, my path is clear. I'd like to join you in your fight alongside the Empire. Of course, honor forbids me from fighting against my allies today, but I won't aid them either. I'm no longer an Imperial. I command an alliance of specialists and force users from across the galaxy. An alliance? So you found a way to unite Jedi and Sith after all? I would love to see it for myself. I'd be honored, Jaysa. Truly, the honor is mine. I'll get off-world and contact your alliance. Find me again when all this is over. If you face Master Nostral, take care. He may be a formidable enemy, but I owe him my life. The shuttle pilot told me Odessin was a formidable base, but it's even more impressive in person. Jedi and Sith working side by side. It's... <laughs> surreal. I'd like to speak plainly, Master. Perhaps there's... somewhere more suitable for that sort of conversation? That can be arranged. Once again, I find myself in your debt. Master Nostral may have been captured, but he lives because of you. I am grateful for my time on Osis, but I am glad to be back. Together, you and I can put an end to war, create lasting peace. It may be too late to stop the war, but we'll continue fighting for peace. Perhaps one day we can fight with words instead of weapons. Master, I must be straight with you. Even before I met you, I've struggled with one tenet of the Jedi Code. The restrictions on love. I understood it logically. Romance made fools of people, and a Jedi must be willing to sacrifice any individual for the greater good. And yet the way I feel when I think about you, it's... exhilarating. It's so much stronger than the bond between Master and Apprentice. How could it be wrong? Jaysa. When you were gone, I completely lost my center. I had to shut myself off from my power, or I'd constantly be searching for you. I guess... what I'm trying to say... is that I love you. More than my own life. Maybe I'm just a fool after all. I'm sorry, Jason. I can't. It's alright, you don't need to explain. Please, forget I said anything. If that's even possible. This won't change anything, I, I promise. I just need a few moments to meditate on my own. If you need me, you know where to find me. 